before I go on my live. It's knowledge butterfly. It's always sending you guys out peace, blessings, love, and abundance. Let me push this back just a little. Ooh, that light coming through. What I'm gonna let it do what it do. So, um, this video is inspired by the beautiful, beautiful Ja Nine. If you don't know who Ja Nine is, she is a reggae artist. She is absolutely amazing. I found out about her when I was living in Jamaica. And um, I fell in love with her from the first song I heard, which was Unafraid. Unafraid, if you never heard that song, she's going in. She's uh, that divine feminine energy that is rising right now. She, that has risen now. It is definitely a beautiful thing. Like I'm fighting back tears right now because it's a beautiful thing to witness these black women, us black women coming back into our true minds which in our true hearts, which is the power. And lately, um, spirit has been having me on getting my mind and my heart in check, my mind and my heart, getting them in, in sync and getting them in alignment. And um, so this video is about, uh, she posted a video, which I was actually resharing on my Instagram, but it was acting, it was acting crazy talking about, um, it'll try again when I have a better connection. But anywho, um, she was just talking about all of the things that I've been talking about in my YouTube videos. Um, I, she actually talked about something I talked about. Maybe I spoke on it maybe not last year, but in 2000, the end of 2018, when I was talking about the DNA of the people that they call black on this planet. The DNA is so um, traumatized. There's so much trauma in our DNA from struggle, from suffering, from oppression and all of those things. And I was but I was saying that even though all those things are there, we have got to let go of the struggle mentality. We've got to 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 be overcomers. We've got to start stop singing about that. I was talking about in reggae music when I was in Jamaica. Every song I started sitting there like this shit is depressing. OK, like everything was about the struggle. Everything was about chop down Babylon, everything was about all of this, all of this, this negative, low vibrational, um, victim mentality stuff. And I get it. I get it because I see what's happening in this physical reality is what people are singing about. But let's remember that the physical reality is an effect. It's not the cause. It's not what's causing everything that we're going through. What's causing it is our thoughts. So I want to get into the fact that and we stop talking and singing about the suffering and the struggle, we can start to um, change our reality, all right? Because our thoughts create our reality. That's first and foremost. So the reason why we're going through so much as a people is because our thoughts are so diseased. Our DNA, our cells are so diseased, are so traumatized. And it is up to us, the ones who are, quote unquote, call ourselves woke, to start transmuting that DNA to become the true alchemist. I'm a holistic energy alchemist for a reason. That name was given to me for a reason. You know, my, my soul chose that name for a reason because I came here to put in the work, all right? That true spiritual work, which is changing the way that I think and changing the cells in my body, changing the cells on a, on a not only a physical reality scale, but first and foremost, changing the, cell, the cells on a spiritual level. Because let's, rem let's remember that everything that's physical starts off on a spiritual level. So doing that spiritual work in order to, to change the DNA from my, both sides of my family. So that, that, that pattern that our DNA makes from the, the mitochondria from my, our mother and then also our father's DNA. Um, weaving together like a braid, like we braid in some hair. Weaving that together, honey, the kundalini, the snakes rising, the snakes on the plane. Those right there. Okay. Um. So I wanted to get into that. Um, well, actually, I just did get into that. So, yeah, that's that's really what we're supposed to be about, putting that work. Another thing that John Aaron talked about was um, the law of rhythm. Y'all know lately I've been talking about the law of rhythm. I, mean, I did a video talking about the Clash of the Titans. And I also talked about how the fact that we have to um, get to the point that we are not allowing the law of rhythm, the, the pendulum swinging from left to right. That, that whole good and bad, good versus bad, all this duality stuff, which is the battle within ourselves. When we realize the battle is within 
and and we start realizing that it starts with our thoughts so the battle in our thoughts and this is one thing that spirit has my spirit has really been helping me with i've been really much more conscious of my thoughts really much more conscious so i can check my thoughts so a lot of people are going around with their thoughts being unchecked because they think that shit is normal they think the way they think is normal and they think that all those thoughts rambling around all the time is normal so this is what stops a lot of us from manifesting the things we really want to manifest is we think we're doing all this work all right we doing these rituals we um might have just started affirmations uh we we taking in all this knowledge we're reading and all these things yet we are not doing the internal work the inner work therefore the reality is staying the same the inner work starts with changing your thoughts and it starts with dealing with your emotions if you not if you're worried about everything else on the outside of you you cannot fix anything because everything on the outside of you again is a reflection of what's on the inside of you all right so thoughts going unchecked is really like just wars and battles being raged inside of you and then you know we don't really get the benefit of what true spirit work is and what true spirituality is which is which is governance of self it is discipline of self self discipline so when you don't discipline yourself internally you have you manifest these outside reflections that try to discipline or control you <laughs> been there so i can speak on it all right um there's something else I wanted to speak on that she was um, talking about and that I spoke on in previous videos. Um, talked about thoughts govern governing your reality. Uh, the talking about struggle and trauma uh, and suffering, the trauma in the DNA of the melanated people. So the hate amongst ourselves as quote unquote black people. We don't realize that when you hate yourself, you hate everything that looks like yourself, but you fake it with a smile or or black power and all these things. A lot of people that feel the need to be so Afrocentric, to put on these costumes, to um, have these certain hairstyles and things. I did a video called Costumes and Consciousness. Wow, that maybe a, over a year ago. And really what that's talking about is in to me anybody who feels like they have to overly do it on the outside not saying that some people don't just like that style but a lot of people that put on such a show on the outside is because you are lacking that love on the inside so you're trying to show that you are for the people on the outside but your mentality and thought process is total hate and you can tell that because you don't support one another Black businesses are the least supported by black people, keeping it real. You would rather spend your money with somebody else than spend it within black people and keep the circulation and, and the flow going in, um, within the quote unquote community. So we talk about saving black people, saving the children and doing all these things, yet the way you start by doing that is by supporting one another. You see a black person open a business, why not try it out and support it and spend your money? But you spend your money at, at all these publics which supported quote unquote Donald Trump, even though I don't care about that shit because none of that affects me in my reality. All right. Um, you support all these other people that don't quote unquote look like you and these big corporations and businesses who you say is the devil, but you supporting them. They could be dealing with um child's um sex trafficking or sex trafficking as a whole. They can be into all kind of shit that you say that you're against, but you've given them your money, your hard earned money. Yet you got people out here that look like you, that talk like you, that's going on the spiritual journey and walk like you, but you don't, you don't want to give a dollar. You don't want to give a penny. You don't want to give anything because you think they're supposed to do everything for free. That should tell you that you don't have, you don't see the worth within yourself. You don't see yourself as worthy. Therefore, you don't see anybody that looks like you as worthy of your money. I had to 
release this and get this off my heart because this has been on my heart. And knowing that the heart is the key to leaving out of here, your heart cannot weigh heavier than a feather in order to move on. So many, the, the trauma within melanated people is in our heart and it's in our root chakra. So it's your heart and your kidney. That's why you got all this kidney disease, diabetes, and things running rampant. That's why you got black people dying of all kind of heart disease and stuff. Because we are fucked up when it comes to our heart and our root chakra. And I remember Bobby Hemet talking about that. I had listened to one of his videos, and he was talking about um, how the how the kidneys and the heart are tied to one another. And that's why uh, diabetes is something that you saw rise in, in melanated communities, that we the number one sufferers of diabetes and heart disease. It's all for a reason that actually keeps us from being our true selves and walking in our true divinity. So if you really want to talk about you a God and you a goddess, start fucking acting like one. Start walking in that shit. Don't just talk it. Think it. Think like that. Start to love yourself. Therefore, you can really start to love people that look like you and not just fake it. Not just say it because it make because your ego is telling your ego telling you, oh yeah, you good, you love black people. You your ego be lying. You got to be honest with yourself. If you can't be honest with yourself, you can't be honest with nobody else. And why lie to yourself? How does that benefit you? It does not. You know what I'm saying? When I realized that I did have a level of self-hate that I had to deal with and a level of jealousy for other black females that I had to deal with, I had to deal with that shit. And I had to literally lie on my shit and be like, you know what? This all, And I, had, I remember exactly where that stemmed from in this lifetime. We're not even going to talk about past life in this lifetime. I realized where that came from. I realized the competition environment that I grew up in with having three sisters and feel like I was competing for affection from my father. So if you're competing for, um, for affection and feeling like your sisters are a competition, imagine when you start dating, how you're going to feel about other females. Imagine. So being real with yourself. Do you just watch people's YouTube videos so you can judge them? Or do you just watch it because you want to have confirmation to say, oh, I was thinking like that? Or are you, are you actually watching somebody's journey and saying, you know what? I need to start doing some self-evaluation because I haven't even thought like that. Or whatever it may be. Or taking the things that, that resonate with you and saying, these are the things that resonate with me and these are the things I do not. Let's own our own shit. Let's own it for real and be honest with ourselves and tell us, tell ourselves what we have to do to work. I consciously made myself start supporting other people from my whole heart and saying, I'm going to spend money here with this, with this female entrepreneur doing her thing. And I actually got a gift from it because she helped balance my earth star chakra. Grounding. I needed grounding. She helped me get there and shout her out. Her name is Holistic um, Alchemist, and I'm the Holistic Energy Alchemist. So you see how you start manifesting things in a way that's beneficial for you when you start really checking your own self and doing the work? You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, we still play in church. Otherwise, we, we still just going to church on Sunday and playing a role on Sunday and then doing whatever the hell we want to do the rest of the week. Mm -hmm. that's what that looked like that's what that looked like a lot of us still got that church motif that's that church programming a lot of us still have it started to deal with our subconscious mind programming and our hate for one another because black people hate each other i'm just gonna keep it fucking real i met a man yesterday first off let me tell you i was so how magnetic how magnetic my energy was on yesterday still is I start walking to go to the store. Um, I, don't, I had like half a mile to go, probably less than that. And this man picks me up and drives me the rest of the way. He said he was going to the store too. And of course he wanted to talk to me. So, you know, I gave my number or whatever. It is what it is. Because I don't mind getting to know different people until that right one comes. You know what I'm saying? Well, shit, he already, I've already manifested him. However, when I mean come, I mean crystallize. Um, and so I get the things that I need to get. 
I wound up needing cash because I needed to to go get something at the store, other store next door. And um, I, when I made my purchase, because I couldn't rem- remember my PIN number, I couldn't, I didn't realize you can't get cash back from doing the credit. I was like, oh shit. So I had to wind up purchasing something else. So I went and got something else to purchase. As I was leaving out, this different gentleman sees me. He starts trying to talk to me. He's from Jamaica. I can tell Im- immediately from his accent, right? Um, and so I let him. I let I let him take me home, um, drive me back to the house, and um, he's talking to me all of this negative shit about Jamaicans, and it reminded me how much Jamaicans hate Jamaicans, right? Because every Jamaican that I met when I was in Jamaica, the ones that I meet here, when I every most of them talk about how Jamaicans just basically thieves and liars and killers and all these things because I'm literally telling him about how you know I'm manifesting it right now you know I got my business in Jamaica all these beautiful things and about and so I kept having to reiterate I met some beautiful Jamaicans I met some really beautiful Jamaicans because I did I met some really beautiful Jamaicans that looked out for me because I did and he still, I'm just worried for, I said, you have no need to be worried for me because I'm always protected because my thoughts, my thoughts are not limited like you. I don't live from a place of fear like you. So I say all that to say is that that was a reminder to me on yesterday of the self-hate that our community has. And until we deal with that within ourselves, we, you can't change or impact anything outside of you. You will not, you will not, you will not make any difference. You will continue to see the same stories playing out over and over and over and over again because we don't see our own worth. We don't see our own worth. Therefore, we do not see the worth in others that look like us. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like um, that's really all I wanted to talk about. Let me first welcome back all these spiritual warrior empresses that look like me, that out here really doing the work, that are uplifting and bringing up the, the vibration of collective conscious. When I heard Jana speak, speaking on the same things, I was like, I, much respect to her. I had to comment. And I don't really like to comment all the time unless it's somebody, you know, that I'm following or whatever, or, or I see their feed come up and then, you know, I'll comment on something. And I'm like, yeah, I, get, I resonate with that. Um, but I commented on Jana's and she actually liked it. I was like, okay, cool, you know. Um, however, it was it was coming from my heart what I said, and I could do nothing but love. But you have a lot of people who can only really show love to people that they look up to because they see that their physical um, manifestation is something that they desire. So then they already want to go show support to them. But somebody who you don't see the physical manifestation yet, then you want to sit here and not really be real so i'm gonna leave it alone on that note um i appreciate you guys for tuning in i had to say what i had to say so i have to express myself and get that off my heart because i I said in my last video about letting letting go of things that that even includes certain feelings that you have certain thoughts that have been you know things that you've been needing to address you don't have to i don't have to please everybody i really get that now and I'm not, I'm not here for it. My channel is not here for it. If you don't agree with it, it's okay. You don't have to. Nor do I care. <laughs> I mean, I care. All right? You do you. I do me. All right? And that is what it is. So for the ones that it didn't resonate with, and you feel like there are some things in yourself that you might need to work on and, and, and um, start to work on within yourself, do that work. That's a beautiful thing. And I send you strength. I send you love and peace on your journey. You know what I'm saying? Another beautiful thing John I said was that we don't realize a lot of times when all the shit starts to hit the fan, that's really the end of something in order for you to move on to the next level of something so much more beautiful. So what her words were to start celebrating and getting excited about, you know, that happening, that change. I said, you know what, she's so right. Instead of dreading it and being, you know, like scared of it and fearing it, like be excited about it. Because this means that I'm coming out on top. This means 
when you have your tower moment, the tower and the, and the tarot cards, when you start to have your tower moment, that's a breakdown of your ego. That's a breakdown of the illusion. Celebrate the breakdown of the illusion, the illusion you created, not talking about the, this illusionary world in the matrix, the illusionary world in the matrix you created in your own thoughts. When that starts to break down, you on the end, you are on the cusp of something so much more beautiful than you could ever imagine. You you have a new beginning, a new chapter starting. Be happy about that new chapter. Celebrate that new chapter. All right. So I'm gonna end the video on that note. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Peace, love. I gotta remember how to end this, y'all. I'm using a new thing. All right. Peace.